Yo, what up? This is Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, and these are Bully Rants. So, uh, once again, been gone for a while, uh, trying to get back in the groove here. And since I've been gone, a lot of things have happened. The Nationals has happened. Uh, the uh, fuck exotic movement, hashtag healthy dog, which you see the shirt over there. It's taken off a lot more. Uh, it's been a lot of debates and controversies. It's been a lot of talk about certain dogs. It's been a lot of talk about saving the American bully. It's been a lot of talk about this, a lot about that. And, uh, you know, we'll jump right into it. And uh, the first topic that I'm going to get into more so is the uh, fuck exotic movement. Now, uh, my good friend Kino, Black Label, you know, a guy that I respect and uh, I can honestly say I love. That's my dude. Uh, he's a judge. You know, he took a picture with me. It was not anything staged or propped or anything like that. He took the picture, you know, and he had his shirt on. And he, I mean, he had his shirt held up. He never put it on that day, by the way. But, uh, you know, I had my shirt on and people got sort of pissed and they, you know, he's a judge, he shouldn't be doing that. You know, they took this spot to uh, make a statement and this and that and the other. Let me first of all address this. And the first reason why I'm gonna address this is that these original print of these shirts are like a year old. You know, they didn't gain a lot of momentum on the ABKC circuit, but the shirts are all over the world, you know, in Europe, you know, South America, you know, South Africa. These shirts are everywhere, and a lot of people have the same thing. Now, first and foremost, what I will tell you about that whole movement, and you will see it, and we're not letting it go. There are more short uh, shirts to come. There are actually shorts to come. There are actually, as I told y'all, there are actually thongs to come. So it's a lot of things on it, and we're having fun with it, but the reality is, is that many of us are just tired of what people are doing, not only to the American bully breed, but to bully breeds in general and the way that you represent this breed. You can't cry and expect someone to feel sorry for you when in reality, the things that you do are far, far worse than any t-shirt that could be made possibly. The reality of it is, and that's why it says hashtag healthy dogs is, I don't believe that every exotic breeder is a bad breeder. I know exotic breeders who are trying to do things the right way, but they are very much so in the minority. You know, I've talked to them even to the point that when we get to in some conversations, some of them find them, some of them find it funny that the dogs that they consider quality to still have the exotic look, but are very, you know, uh, what we would say clean and well structured dogs. A lot of people don't want them. You know, a lot of people. This this thing has gotten to the point where a lot of people are looking for these deformities and these health issues that are shown visibly. So it needed to be spoke on. It's a very loud message. It has started the conversation and it's, and it's been a tool to allow those of us who don't approve to actually start this conversation and start this dialogue. I understand that it can be crude anytime you use the word fuck, but you know, I believe what they are doing to these dogs is far more cruel. You know, we are putting things together. We have support from all around the world. It will be more than just a t-shirt or just something that is said. It'll be a constant movement, not only to bring back the true American bully and the dog that represented this breed and was a very, 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 very good representation of what uh, this breed was supposed to be, but more so it's to separate ourselves and to educate our, uh, ourselves and others as to what the dog should be and to stop this hideous breeding. This is what this is all about. It's not a thing to argue. There's nothing to argue about. If you're breeding a dog with Down syndrome, if you're breeding a dog with bad elbows, bad hips, breathing issues, temperament issues, any of these issues that you are involved in, if you are, if you are doing these things, it's no argument. You're a bad breeder, you're unethical, and you know, morally the whole situation is wrong to do this do this to an animal and know that this animal is gonna suffer. This is not a debate. This is basically putting the ball back in your court because many times when people try to talk about structure and health and things like that, you know, you have to take on insults like people talking about reindeers and people talking about, oh, your shit just doesn't sell and that's old school this and that's old school that and this and that and the other. When the bottom line of it is, is good healthy dogs is never an old school thing. 
You can do all of the muscling up on a dog. You can do all the things the right way and make a beautiful animal. But the reality is, is what you're doing is wrong no matter which way you try to put it. You can keep on with the insults and you can try to uh, do your gang mentality type things that y'all do where y'all jump all over one or two people who do have the balls to speak up for your actions on a post and y'all gang up on them and they're just hating because they're not getting $10,000 a puppy. Nonsense. The reason why they're speaking on it is because it's wrong in every category that you could ever name and it's disrespectful to those who actually do work to try to make this breed a positive thing. So yes, the fuck exotic movement will get stronger as I say now I have to reorder shirts because we actually did sort of sell out. You know, it's literally I've got seven or eight shirts here in the box, but new ones are on their way. You know, we will be taking orders this week and special orders and sending out boxes, you know, all around the world. But, you know, we're real with this. It's not just about a T-shirt. It's about a movement and something that we feel like we need to take the breed back. We'll get into that more on the next um, on the next video. But I did want to address it's not an attack on every single person who has exotics. If you are making a move to do it the right way, more power to you. But all you people who know that you're not. Please don't cry because it's going to get deeper and deeper. Peace.